Before we continue, let's have a look at your comments. So, sounds like fun, I will be turning in this game. Uh, is this game supposed to immediate the TT games, Lego games or something else entirely? So I didn't know that TT Games uh, was a game publisher. No, it's not a publisher. It's a game studio that uh, creates all those Lego games. And to be honest with you, the only Lego game I ever played was uh, Lego Creator back in 1998. So I don't know the current Lego games, but um, we will make a complete new one. Maybe they will have some elements, but only by accident. During the tutorial I will uh, talk about my plans, uh, but let's first create a new project. So we will choose a light white render pipeline, um, the high definition one is in preview, the 3D thing is I guess the normal Unity's built-in renderer, we can't use um, the shader graph, so and yeah that's why we pick this one. I do not have an exact idea. I loosely know where I want to end up. And one thing I want to make is something like a build system where you really can build your own buildings from scratch just by having the basic brick system. And yeah, we need some gameplay around it. So maybe you are a stranded Lego guy that is searching for shelter and uh, has to fight against the enemies on the island and protect yourself it's some kind of minecraft if you want with a lego twist i don't know it will end up completely different but let's continue first let's delete the post process volume we will need that the example assets so blank scene um i can't see where the origin is but that's okay for now tutorial info we don't need that Delete it. Read me. We don't need this either. Delete it. And example assets. Get rid of it. So, okay. The other things we will keep them. For example, Skybox is pretty neat. Use uh, as many default things as you can uh, use because uh, it's unlikely to finish a game if you want to make everything from scratch. But we will import our game object now. So we will create an object or model I don't know maybe object folder and here we create our character so uh, folder figure or character I go for character okay and then I import the assets we did last time you may notice it looks a little bit wrong it looks a little wrong because we use blender um, and the materials aren't right, so we can just say, I don't wanna import the materials. And there we go, we have our nice character. Let's drag and drop it into the scene. Oh, the scale does not look right, really. Um, maybe uh, we have to re-import it somehow. So first, let's set up a scale. This is the most important thing in the game just say what your units are for example this is a lego man and if i create an empty uh, put it somewhere around the base and say okay so this is one unit up so the man is three units tall and that's maybe a little bit too big okay i just select my character uh, here you see he's actually one two three four units tall and i will make the character may be exactly one unit and here we go so perfect the lego figure is around four centimeters tall and a lego brick is then one centimeter so our unit of measurement is now centimeters and or meters and one unit here are four centimeters in reality okay so let's place them where he should stand it's good let's see where the pivot point is looks great so here we are i would see uh, i would suggest that you create a different folder called material normally i would store the materials directly um, besides the object but this time it's different because the materials in lego are 
not that many, so we can really go deep into it and um, create them via shader graph. This is how I set up my uh, graph. Um, I use these values here. You can type them and a Fresnel effect. So you will have a Fresnel factor that goes into power. I created a color and a Fresnel color and they go into A and B and then everything goes into the albedo. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That should be enough for now. Okay, that's our Lego shader. Let's create some materials. So um, let's start with yellow. We will just choose our Lego shader. There we go. And put it on our Lego figure. <coughs> and as you can see, it's very dark here, very light here. As soon as you put the occlusion to one, this is a little bit better. Maybe too good to be true. So 0 0.9 is maybe a better value. Yeah, there we go. Looks fine. Looks like Lego plastic. Uh, let's create a blue one and a red one as well. Okay, here's the blue one. <clears throat> never pick a total color that does not look good. For example, never use red for red or blue for blue. Go slightly to a different color, for example. This is a better blue than blue. Um, and yes, the red one should be maybe a little bit orange. Yeah, not too much. Just just a nine here on the green value. Now it's the time to see if everything is right with our model. This looks a little bit creepy. And so what we'll do in Blender, if this is happening, uh, we select everything, normals, recalculate outside, save it, then export everything again. And we have a beautiful minifigure. If your amateur is set up right, you should um, move some things here in the edit mode or in the play mode and everything should bend. Then we go to the asset store and download fast AK. It's made by a strange guy, but the package is pretty good. Make sure to have the most recent version and just import it. The next thing we want to do is to create handles and ports. So we create a lot of empties. So these are the handles and we create one handle for the arm, left arm and so on. So here we are, the left arm is going to directly to the left arm. Here we go. Left elbow to left elbow, right arm to right arm, right elbow. It's more like hand, should be hand instead of arm. Left knee goes here, right foot here. So make sure to be very symmetric. I will just briefly have a look at it and see if this is really symmetric. The knees can be really outside of everything. So for example here, the same goes for the elbow. They can be quite outside. And then we do the following. We have a look at our character and then we were looking for everything in the meta rig. Uh, maybe I had to rename it, then it will be a little better. Okay, we are looking for the spine spine yeah there we go spine shoulder left shoulder upper arm forearm and there we go hand and the hand is what we are looking for or it's a forearm let's try the hand so fabric ik fast ik fabric this is what we downloaded from the asset store chain length two looks good the left arm left hand Let's go. This is a target and the pole is a left elbow. Uh, let's directly go into play mode to see what happens to our character. Huh? A lot. So left hand, left arm. It's not right. <laughs> it's a right arm. I changed every left and right uh, position of everything. And now we try again. So this is what it looks like left arm. Let's move it in play mode. Of course, ah, there we go. So it's moving, it looks good. 
Um, the arm is exactly as expected and let's turn this on. Oh, perfect! It looks really good. So uh, the next thing we will do is just bend it a little bit. So bring it in the position that it has to bend. And then we check our elbow. There was our elbow and yeah, the elbow looks quite good. Um, so this is an extreme position. We won't do it, but we know it works now. So let's go. Uh, I will do it a second time. The rest is up to you. So right hand, just IK fabric, wide arm to the target and wide elbow to the pole. The same goes for let me look, face, no, this is, goes all up. So let's have a look at the pelvis. No, the pelvis is the wrong thing. There is a foot, left foot, the same again, IK fabric. Um, Left foot to the target, left knee to the pole. Okay, let's do it again, IK fabric, right foot at the target, right knee at the pole. Okay. That's it. We are in play mode and our character already looks a little bit strange. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we should put the target so that everything looks okay. No, not the knee. We will yeah, set the foot where the foot is belonging. So let's create the first animation. Therefore we create a animator controller for our figure and we go to the figure and just put it here and then we create our first animation and we call this one and then we open our animator and pull and drop our running animation here so and we run yeah maybe Maybe we create two. The other one is idle, idle and one. This is a good start. Um, can create a make transition. Uh, no, set state machine default state. This is a transition we want it. And from there we go to one and from one we go back to idle. Um, but at first, we only do it this way, directly from one to idle. We just want to create the animation. Okay, idle. We have to add the properties. Can we just drag and drop the handle in here? No, just take everything and yeah, move it slightly. <coughs> and here we go. As an idle animation, we will um, make the animation around one. Is it one second or one frame? I think these are seconds. And then we just add a new keyframe or we can just copy and paste the ones. And in between we paste them again and maybe change the arms, left arm, right arm. Just put them up a little bit there we go. And in our figure, we delete the one animation. The idle animation is enough for now. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. So you can download the complete project so that you can look everything up in the description. And there are also the time codes and you can download the figures there. So it's everything in set up. You can just download the scene. And uh, you should look at the GitHub repository. There are always commits. So there is one commit per episode. Then you can always commit the status it was when this video came out. So make sure to subscribe to follow this tutorial further on and see you next time. Bye. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.